Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about multi-purpose rods for co-anglers. I've been doing the co-angler thing now for five years on the FLW and it's just kind of funny when I see a lot of the co-anglers that show up and they have like 10, 15, 20 rods with them. They have a rod set up specifically for every single technique. Well, I, I don't know if you've ever been a co-angler, but when you're, at a, when you're a co-angler, a lot of times when you have your meeting with your pro, they're very vague. A lot of times they just want to know where you're staying, when to meet you, and if you go, oh, well, you know, what are you using? Sometimes they're like, oh, I'm fishing slow, or I'm fishing fast, or typical such and such lake stuff. A lot of times they're not very willing to tell you like what they're fishing in the morning, what they're fishing in the evening, uh, what they're fishing in the middle of the day, what they're fishing when the wind comes up. So if you're sitting here trying to figure it out and you only bring five rods and those five rods are set up for a specific technique, you're pretty much at a disadvantage right away. So what I like to do is have multi-purpose rods. I always bring this rod with me. Right now it's got our toad on it. But I also love throwing our bladed jig on it. I love throwing a, a deeper running crank on it. Um, I love throwing a buzz bait on it. I mean, it's pretty much the same exact rod. And I would, you know, if I was fishing those technique, techniques, I'd have this same rod, but four of them all tied up with all those different baits. Some of them might have a different reel ratio, but I feel very confident. And I have four techniques that I feel confident in on this one rod. And this rod here, I have actually our little, soon to come out, little underspin on it. It's another medium light. I feel comfortable with that on it. I can, I can throw a weightless Senko on it or a Texas rig. I can throw a flicking on it. I can throw sometimes a little square bill on it. But again, it's, it's another rod that I feel comfortable throwing four or five different techniques on. And I have another one like this that I carry. It's a little bit smaller. It's six foot. Uh, one of my advantages is I drop shot on a bait caster, so I don't have to have a spinning reel in there. But that bait caster can actually, although I use it for the drop shot, it can do all the same techniques I do on this one. So if I have to have, or two of those techniques are doing good, I can have one on this one and one on that one. So I don't have to retag, just pick up, pull, and throw. And then I also have a rod, a seven foot that I use, a medium heavy for flipping, but I can take the flipping switch off and I feel very comfortable using it with the jig or anything on ledges or over lay downs or you know just casting it and working even a Carolina rig or a worm down deeper. But I'm telling you when you're a co-angler it's all about having multi-purpose rods. You're only allowed five rods. Like I said I only take four but with these four I can cover any technique that I think I would need to use in any given tournament. Because if you get to the point where suddenly you get there and by what they've said and, and the talk talk, you're totally set on these like five things you're gonna be doing. And suddenly something else shows up that you weren't even thinking about. And suddenly you're like, oh my God, I don't have, I don't have my rod for that. It's, you know, it's in the car and suddenly you set up another one for it, but you're at a disadvantage right there because suddenly it's not the rod you'd use for that, so that's in your head. And confidence, confidence, confidence is, is what you need in a tournament. So if you're suddenly thrown by trying to throw something on a rod that you don't think is set up for it, I said you're, you're just, it's, it'll get your head spinning, you'll be all lost. So give it a try. Multi purpose rods when you're a congler. Try taking four rods and having all four of those rods in your mind set up for like, say, four techniques per rod, 16 techniques, enough that anyone would need to do good in a tournament. Hope this helps. Until next time.